Okay. I'm starting this part here because I think I figured out what was wrong. You can examine items such as the maroon eye ring by clicking F. And then maybe I could examine to pull the eye out. That's exactly what I need to proceed. So I was trying to figure out how this game works more, so I discovered you could also craft things. So for example, I could craft some med. First aid meds. There we go. Got an achievement called crafter for making one. I think we could just make however many we have. I don't think I need those items for anything else. I also reorganized this. Wait, I think I can, yeah, stack items, but it's with the alt key. Can you stack? So that's how new I am. I'm just like, can you stack things? Perhaps not. Not with the health items. I still held on to that for some reason. Was it because I could examine it? The only thing really noteworthy about this, other than it does look very valuable, is that it has the sigil of Dimitrescu right there. It is a really pretty item. It's in a treasure um, tab category, which I find interesting. Maroon Eye is going to be inserted right here so we can proceed. Hopefully my glitch is still continuing on and Ethan remains silent. <laughs> I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just watch. Take a Hmm, I think I need a key for that. Alive, dead, which would you prefer? <laughs> you will look wonderful mounted in our hall. Oops, why does it do that? So, I'm not really trying to fight her. I don't think I'm supposed to. I think I'm supposed to just escape. So that would be why I'm not trying to fight her. I can't hold back any longer. And as you can see, he's not reacting to being chased. I think she lost us. So I accidentally wasted some ammo because I thought sometimes you have to press something. To switch weapons. What does that say? June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the other staff were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle, and I am a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. And at night, I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just a crack. Shut it! Shut it now! They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Ooh, this looks like an orange and some rotting fruit. Is that a banana? What is such a tropical fruit doing here? This must be the cellar. I am certain this is some kind of cellar. Ooh, listen to that music. That is beautiful music. I wonder where that's coming from. Probably in here. Oh. And then it stopped. Man, my lady has a beautiful taste in music. But it stopped. I like to think that's her theme song. It just plays when she walks. Like, it just follows her like an ambiance every time she goes somewhere. That song plays. <laughs> Ethan, we don't need this mine. Um. That door does lock right behind her, unfortunately. I believe this was the actual source of music, but it's funny to think that a theme song just plays when Lady 
Dimitrescu enters the room. So, I'm still thinking this is some kind of cellar. Push the fire. Trust in light. I believe trusting in light was part of the prayer that they said to Mother Miranda as well. As in, it sounds like garbage, the the words, until you realize they're a hidden meaning instead. Such as like that. Everything probably has some kind of significance, so it's not a thing to be like, ah, it's just crazy religious whatever. Oh, suddenly he has a flashlight, and here's the torture dungeon. But before really exploring this, I want to see if I'm missing anything in here. Because the thing about the castle, you can't return to it if something happens to it. You're only here once. So I'm trying to be thorough. And also because when Shadows of Rose releases, we explore this castle again. So it's important to know where everything is, to know what changed. That's still... okay. The same place we were at before. Here... okay, maybe that really was the way forward. You can just see the blood leaking out of these barrels, because blood is the main ingredient of the wine that Lady Dimitrescu makes. So this really was the way forward. I'm just making sure. Alright, torture dungeon time. These look like medieval torture devices. There's blood on the walls, and these are probably the small cellars. You can even see they have, like, outhouse-like things. So, like, literally all you have, not even a bed. There's a toilet for the waste, but not even a bed. And some of these have um, horrible torture devices for maiming a person. It's covered in dried blood, so definitely this was meant to torture and drain a person of all of their blood. Using cranks and gears of all things, they're just slowly squeezed like a pulp. Like a fruit or something. Absolutely painful, I imagine. These are torture devices as well. I've, I've seen medieval torture devices in a place called the Medieval Times, and this reminds me a lot of it. Where these things exist mostly to cause pain. Like, they want you to suffer as long as possible before you die. Help me, brother. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh man, somebody's limbs been torn apart. Wait, that almost looks like something horrible. It almost- I was worried it looks like something that should be stabbed into the crotch because I've seen those in medieval torture devices as well. But this seems a lot more for ripping limbs apart, as if the blood from their arms just gush on the walls like that. Yeah, their arms and legs is where the blood source would be coming from. Happened long enough ago that the blood has blackened and coagulated on the wall. Oh man, some of them even go for the face. Some are even animal shaped, like that one looks like an elephant, or a pig even. So you get a pretty good idea that Lady Dimitrescu and possibly her daughters, they enjoy torturing people. With the worst of medieval torture devices. Here we have a piece of rotting food and a torturous barrel device to be fitted probably around the torso, unfortunately. I wonder if that's a steak. I almost saw it was cheese at first, but it looks like a rotted steak. Here we have a filled up toilet. Uh, yeah, we don't want to look at that for too long. <laughs> Unless you enjoy being nauseous. Let's see. These are the same kinds of masks, same kinds of chairs. So people have been absolutely destroyed here. This has like, oh god, you can see where the limbs are supposed to go. And these turning devices, I guess, go across the back. Ethan, you don't have to panic. It's not actually going to torture you. You need the lady here for that. And here are their victims. A tied-up maid, no legs, gathering blood. A body, gathering blood. Another body, also gathering blood. These don't seem to have their limbs, or possibly not even their head. So... They're definitely being drained of their blood to make the wine. There's another one of those toilets. 
a bowl. And I don't think we could pick up this item. It looks like it says alcohol erythric, uh, erythric alcohol. So it's almost like they're trying to prevent infection or they're trying to wash out blood. And there are some syringes, some molded up vials of something. Examine this. Irina, robust appetite. Mihaela, robust appetite. Lois, robust appetite. Ingrid, unstable, overly alert at times. So try to make sure the people eat something. And you can see the skull diagram. Why is that there, I wonder? Can't really read any of these documents. I swear some of these things with the pincers, they're almost like to pull out teeth, just cause more blood and torture. Um... So these look like they go into the neck. Should have severed the jugular. Damn, these are brutal torture devices. Handgun ammo. And if I remember correctly, Lady Dimitrescu is based off of a vampire, so she's supposed to use humans as a food source. So this is... I don't know if it really is for the sake of causing the most pain as possible as a medieval torture device, but these things are definitely meant to gather as much blood as possible out of humans. And flesh. So that she survives. So it's one of those things, you versus them. Eat or starve is her choice. You don't choose to be a vampire, you choose what you do with it. And that's probably Ingrid. So that's why we're breaking these. Yeah, it's Ingrid. Pipe bomb. Oh, it's two of you. Uh, three of you. There's probably too many of you, so let's just get out of here. Oh, yeah, there's way too many of you. I did up my ammo capacity. Oh, there was a pipe bomb, so let me actually try to figure out how to use that. Equip. Now, let's just throw that right there. There we go. Str strategist is what I got. Because I got a lot of stuff. Ooh, Ingrid's necklace. Yep, that, that corpse right there, that was Ingrid. I would like those crystal skulls. The Duke gives me a lot of money for those. Chem fluid. Chem fluid, crystal skull, lay. That almost looks like a place you could go to, but I'm pretty sure it's the other side of a dungeon. Okay, if they are all dead, I would like to explore that a little bit more. Not just for items, but just to see what else we can find in terms of lore. Cool, we got some ammo for the shotgun. Anything else? Anything I might have missed because the enemies tried to chase me out. I'm pretty sure once we're here, it's just repetitive. Yeah, I believe Ingrid jumped me here and all the other nameless maids. I'm pretty sure these are formerly maids. Who somehow wronged the Dimitrescu's ended up in here to be sacrificed and used for their flesh and blood. And then somehow turned into those things, whatever those were. Now I think we're getting out of here. Or perhaps not yet. Examine? No. We don't have the thing for that yet. Here's a whole lot more cages. I can't believe Cassandra caused all <sighs> this mess. Okay, so maybe Cassandra was the one chasing me before. <laughs> yeah, there are flies in my face. Still no voice lines, thankfully. More torture devices. Squeeze the blood out when they're alive, and it's that much sweeter. I bet. That's why you would keep them alive. Torture them, maybe. Now, I would be shooting you, except uh, that wouldn't do anything. She Can is basically immortal. I go where I want. <laughs> Your bullets cannot harm. <gasps> you stupid man thing! 
If you remember, she is sensitive to fire. So I don't mean to do this to you, but you are kind of stabbing me with a meat hook. Why do I have this gun out? I don't even know. I reload it really slow too. And this one's being reloaded too, for no reason. No reason to bear my teeth at you. I mean, you are kind of trying to this can't be. I think I can heal. Crap, is she killing me now? No. My health is low though. Here we go. This is a tiny room to fight you in. I'm so sorry, I don't want to do this. I'm sorry. A crystal torso. It's beautiful. I really wish I didn't have to do that. I'm sorry, Bella! Yeah, her name's Bella. So, I don't know how long I've been recording for. I have been making some shorter videos. Just because I'm really worried about uploading these in a timely fashion, so let's just stop here.